So um, our art gallery, my husband is an, an artist, and this is our primary space for displaying his paintings. But anyway, so yeah, follow me in here, and I'll show you the, show you the rest of the house. Um, the mural was, was kind of my idea. <laughs> we had been taking the Westbury Middle School students on these trips to the city um, for a couple of years, and those trips were um, the brainchild of Chris Hobbs, who's also one of the volunteers for the mural project. How I got involved in the arts, uh, many years ago I doodled on everything in sight. And uh, my wife started buying these large pads and said, doodle only on this. So I started doing designs. Uh, it started and I was on the road doing art shows for 15 years. It took a long time to develop, but I've won over 30 major awards and have been doing it now for probably 30 years. I think the motto for Westbury is actually a community for all seasons. So we were thinking we could use that motto and create a mural that kind of has to do with the that. The original idea would have been that the two teaching artists, that's Marie St. Cyr and Megan Meehan, would sit down in a room with the middle school students, talk about the theme of the mural. And well, all of this, of course, had to happen in the virtual realm because of the pandemic, so. I, I, like, I like the perspective on that. One tree represents, in my case, it represented spring and summer. The other tree represented fall and winter. Do you want to unmute and speak? Oh, okay. If you want, you can speak about it. If not, this looks really, really good, though. It looks like soccer to me. Oh, it's a band. It looks like a band. Oh, she tried to oh, do a band. From like winter, winter, spring, summer, and fall. Any other questions? Uh, my name is Jaden. I go to Westbury Middle School. Um, yeah, so one day my art teacher just um, asked me if I wanted to participate in painting a mural. So I said, yeah, and um, it's been a few months, and now we're here, we're painting the mural, and I think it's coming out really nice. For my family, they think um, that they're really proud of me, and they think that it's something important, because once you paint something, it'll stay there forever. I actually started making art in middle school, um, I was really into reading and I read a lot of manga, so as I was reading them, I started to like reproduce the drawings and then I became obsessed with anime <laughs> throughout middle school and high school. And you know, I wanted to move to Japan and everything and become an anime artist. A local artist, they were doing like a mosaic at this fountain in Newcastle and they were looking for high school students to volunteer. Um, I was one of those who signed up, but I think like six people volunteered, but I was the only one who kind of showed up and stayed. So I kind of built a relationship with that muralist. And then about two, three years later, he had a, another job at Newcastle that he couldn't do, so he recommended me for that. And that was 2016. Um, so that was the first mural project I did by myself. 
Yeah, but I felt like last year, I, once I got the snake, I stopped. they stopped eating my plants. I was like, all right, the snake is working. All right, so what happened was um, the teaching artists and the students started painting. They started putting the first images from the design on the wall, the outline. When I came into town, I had been away for a week and saw what they had done. We realized that the top half of the wall was brown. I should mention that Chris Hobbs is our liaison between the business owner and the middle school. And he, and he looked at the wall and he said, you're just gonna leave that space at the top? And I said, yes, because we didn't wanna have to rent a scaffolding and it's too tall to do on a ladder. And he's like, oh no. We couldn't leave it half a mural. So he, he came running over here last week, I think on Saturday. I stayed up all night doing this design and I just wanted you to see it. Do you think we can do this? He created the top like six feet of the mural. Once the design was approved, I came in and took a full day and outlined what the, uh, the design would be on the top. Everybody's happy with it that comes by. I, I work freelance for the village and I do the village newsletter. And this is the, the draft of the next one coming up in about two or three weeks. And I think this is a great project. And, um, I've been a resident of Westbury longer than most people. <laughs> I think. I'm thinking of it right now like 68 years I've been a member, a resident of Westbury. And I, I just love this place. And it's really great that we're doing this. Hi, my name is Margaret Abrams. I've been in Westbury all of my life. I attended school here. Spring is coming, nice spring color. Enjoy. And I'm really glad to see that people have taken their time, the students and the art league, to put together things like this so that not only will people not forget, but maybe they'll leave it and enjoy it. Support the arts in Westbury. This is a small town, but check this out. They doing things that matter. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is great. First of all, the, the owners of Jin's Apple Farm have been wonderful, and they've and they've been an enthusiastic supporters of this all along. I feel great, and I like it the way it looks on the wall, and I'm so grateful for the Westbury art that is going to improve my business, and I just really like it the way it came off, and I'm so grateful. I didn't purchase this paint, the lead artist Marie did, but I believe that the reason she chose this one is just because it is so thick that it just covers the wall. Megan Meehan is very new to our board of directors, but, but such an enthusiastic artist. And also, she's one of these artists that, does, that dabbles in everything. She's, she's uh, multi-talented, she writes, um, she's, done, she's written plays, she writes books, but she also does visual art, um, abstract art. So she's a very interesting person. She was very enthusiastic about working with the kids. Marie is so talented and she makes such beautiful murals. And it was wonderful working with her just to learn the basics. And I will never forget the things that she taught me just about, you know, setting up and mixing the paints and the consistency and all these things and the types of paints to use to paint a mural. And these are things that I will never forget and these are things that I hope to use in future projects. The tree is very thick at the bottom and it's very short and it's very wide at the top. It almost has a dome on the top of it. We really use the idea of a dragon's blood tree uh, from, South, from uh, South Africa. And it's called a dragon's blood tree because the sap of the tree is blood red. So they think it's a dragon's blood. And we use that as the design model for this tree in the mural. And the kids came. We would find kids would walk up to, up the street and see us and say, oh, what are you doing? And we would talk to them and ask them their name and where they went to school. And when they said Westbury, we said, oh, you have to register and paint with us. And that's how it all happened. And we're going to do great things for these kids because I think that's, our, that's the hope of our next generation, to expose children to something that they probably wouldn't experience. Well, when you look at school budgets and they, they drop 
They drop things that they don't think are important. It's not just that you need to know math and English. You have to have values. And if anything, the art teaches you the values. You have to look at things a different way. You have to interpret things. How do you make a tree on a wall that's flat that people will understand that any kid could draw? And that's basically what we're doing here. And we intend to do this on many other walls in this community. There's a lot of different ethnicities here. And I would say art usually can level the playing field. We started with nothing. We started in a basement. But we've become this beautiful, beautiful building. But now you start to wonder, well, what other buildings can we make murals on? What other towns might want to take our lead? And I think that within the next three to five years, I wouldn't be surprised if we have 10 to 12 of these and become known as a community of murals and art. Everybody here wants to do something good for the community. And I couldn't think of a better place to live. Our vision is a community where arts and culture are valued and instill a sense of belonging and pride. And our motto is together, we create Westbury. Thank you so much. Why do kids need art programs? We all need art programs, but if you start them early, get them interested, it'll become a lifelong thing.